Coach Prime made the comment a long time ago, we got cameras too. And I guess when he was making that comment, he was trying to get everybody to understand that what, what he got going on right now at Jackson State University, he's going to document it so that he can show the world exactly what's going on. A lot of people had so much negative things to say about him coming to HBCU because he did have offers to go coach at Power 5 schools and he didn't go that avenue. Instead, he decided to come to an HBCU. Many thought, you know, because of the FC, FSU job, he didn't get it. You know, he's going to come to JSU and stroke his ego, as many said, to get to where he's trying to go. Guys, if you haven't seen the first episode of the uh, Coach Prime Sanders uh, documentary, you got to check that out, guys. It was some phenomenal information that he shared with us this evening, and it really has my has my has the wheels turning in my head, wondering, man, how much more can I do as a coach to really get out here and help the young men that I am putting my hands on when I, you know, putting my hands on with dealing dealing with on a daily basis. It's your favorite coach back at it again. Ten toes down, about to tell you how it all went down. This is Tomorrow Leaf Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Also, make sure you comment on these videos and share these videos. And tap a friend or two and tell them to come on in so they can hear about these videos. And for all my leaders out there, welcome back. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the routine. Make sure y'all hit that notification bell, like these videos, comment on these videos, share these videos. And not to mention, guys, tap in a friend or two and tell them to come on in. It's nothing but positive vibes. We're just having a good time talking about HBCU sports. So without further ado, Coach is going to go on in to... <clears throat> This Coach Prime documentary, because like I said, it's got a lot. It's got a lot of things. Uh, it's got the wheels turning in my mind right now on so many different things that he's doing there at JSU, which is phenomenal. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I know a lot of people. You know, they was always saying, "Hey, you guys are always want to talk about JSU and what's going on." I want to make sure I give you guys some food for thought, some nuggets to take with you, some things to share. That you know, just like what Coach Prime did this evening. I mean, you got to understand. Building something from the ground up, you got to have structure, you got to have motivation, you got to have accountability, and everybody got to be energetic with all of those things, making sure that each of those steps, that each of those things that he, each of those things that he talked about, structure, accountability, and motivation, everybody's on that same page. And not to mention, the biggest thing that you got to have is a plan. Coach Prime came in there from day one when he was introduced to JSU last year. He had a plan and how he was looking to come in there and turn this thing around for people to see that the a. Coming to an HBCU is not a bad thing. We've already heard a million and one time, and I know I've done over a hundred videos thus far talking about facilities. Facilities are definitely not the greatest at some of these HBCUs, but a lot of them, they have great facilities. They have above average facilities. And because that stigma has been put out there about facilities not being the greatest, a lot of these uh, a lot of these four or five star recruits, they look past and say, hey man, I can't, I can't go there because the facilities are not great. I can't go there because you guys are not on TV, the meal plan, so on and so forth. And now a lot of these HBCUs, they they truly understand that, hey, we got to put all of these things in place to make sure we get the players that we're looking to have here to build our program into something that's great, that can get out here and compete on that top tier level. I mean, I've said it a million times before, guys. A, uh, a five-star recruit at the University of Alabama is worth $650,000. That's correct. But... <clears throat> I'm not, I'm not here to talk about the Power Fives right now. I'm here to talk about JSU and what they're doing down there in Mississippi. Like I said, he talked, I mean, he talked about so much, guys. I don't want to give it all away, but just as from a coaching standpoint, it helped me understand the fact that seeing players, seeing many of the players that I've covered that decided that they were going to take their talents to JSU and become a part of that JSU family, just starting to get the, the nuggets behind a lot of the things that transpired for why they decided to go to JSU and why they, um, you know, now that they're there, the things that, you know, how, how they're, you know, how they're de dealing with the change of atmosphere and, and just what's going on from the standpoint of practice, preparation, things of that nature. Guys, like I said, Coach Prime is giving us an inside look on everything that's going on, especially when he's talking about talking to the guys out there on the field about them being accountable out there on the field. When you see you're out there on the field, you're on the defensive side of the ball, and you don't have all of your players on the field, why would you not speak up and say something? A lot of times guys are just afraid or they say, okay, I'm going I'm to leave I'm gonna leave it up to Johnny over here. He's going to get himself in trouble because he's, he knows he should be out here on the field, but he's not. And I keep saying all the time, guys, coaches have cameras out there filming everything. Listen, <clears throat> seeing, like I said before, seeing a lot of those players leaving the goal, leaving from, leaving from power five schools to come to HBCUs is a great thing, guys. I'm telling you, 
Coach Prime is building some building something beautiful there in Jackson. Like I said, the phrase I believe, I don't know about you, but I've said it a million and one times. I believe because I'm telling you, this thing, when, <clears throat> when he talked about, um, I forgot the young man that was having, I guess they were having Bible study, and Coach Prime had walked in on them having a conversation about the 12 disciples. 12 disciples. I'm going to tell you something. I got a story for that. I remember I took my son to, uh, I'm just going to put it out there. I took my son to Albany State. He actually got, he actually made the team as a preferred walk-on. Out of 150 plus kids that was out there that day, they only kept 12, okay? They only kept 12. And the crazy thing is when I heard him, when I heard Coach Prime talk about the 12 disciples, it took me back to when I sat there and I was breaking this down to my son. I was telling him, I said, listen, I said, the Last Supper, he, I said, the Lord was at the Last Supper with who? The 12 disciples. The 12 disciples were there at the table with Jesus. Jesus was the 13th man. So all I'm saying to you is, is that, guess what? Father, Son, Holy Spirit, go with it. Understand what's going on. When you can get these young men to understand what's going on from a biblical standpoint and get their minds to start really thinking outside of what's going on as far as just the, the chaos and rhetoric that's, that's happening in, out here in this world. You got to understand, a lot of our young men are dealing with things on a day-to-day -day basis. Sometimes we're not able to reach out to them as parents to get them to understand what's going on and try to direct them back in, in, into that that right lane for them to go where they need to go. Because sometimes we have to take our hands off the steering wheel and say, hey, Lord, it's on you. You take the wheel with this. I trust you to do what you need to do. And in some instances, we have to trust those coaches as well, allowing them to do the things that they need to do. And I'm not by no means saying the coach, the coach is the almighty. I'm not saying that because I know somebody out here going to go ahead and say, hey, coach, coach Walker said blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. You, you missed my point. My point is <clears throat> you have to understand we parent as a parent, you have to be willing to take that chance to allow your son or daughter to go to that coach and allow that coach to coach them. It's called trust. And when they sit down in that, and when they sit down with you, at you, the parent, and that athlete, you're getting an understanding of where that coach or where those coaches are coming from and how comfortable they make you feel with what you're doing. How do you make those parents comfortable? With what you're putting together as far as vision. People have to see, they have to see things visually. If they can't see things visually, guess what? You lose every time. Visually will be the facilities, will be the dorm rooms. It will be all of the things that many, many of these athletes look at when they go to these power five schools. And I'm telling you right now, it, what he's doing, if you haven't seen, I'm going to say it again. If you have not seen this episode, please check it out. <clears throat> and lastly, like I said, being able to change a young man's life. It's such a beautiful thing because, like I said before, even on a rec level where I am right now coaching coaching these young athletes, I see things on a daily basis where these young men, they may not have accessibility to washing and dryers. They may not have accessibility to, you know, going in the refrigerator and getting food all the time like many of you out there that are, that are watching this have the ability to do. So you got to understand, you got to keep in mind when you're dealing with these individuals, there's a lot that goes into this. It's not just, hey man, look, Johnny come out on the field, smack him upside the head. Hey man, that was done. Why did you do it this way? Man, a lot of these kids need more than that. And trust me, I see these young men that I've coached from little bitty, from yay high to high school that are now in college. And guess what? I still showed them the same love that I showed them when they were in my presence as little people because you know what? They know one thing for certain, two things for sure. Coach Walker's always going to call it straight. He's going to stay down the middle. He's going to be stern, but he's going to let us know that he loves us. And guess what? That's the same thing Coach Prime is doing because you know what? This And this is, the, this is another thing. If we're not willing to raise the bar, and coach our young men up, young men and young women up, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be stern. So much is going on where these young men and young women sometimes think it's supposed to be cupcake. I'm supposed to handle you with white gloves. I'm not going to do that. And Coach Prime is showing us right now, guess what? We got to get back into coaching these folks up to let them know they are accountable for what they do and what we expect of them and how they can go about getting it done. Look, I'm going to tell you right now, if, if you haven't seen, I'm going to say it again. If you have not seen this series, take a look at this. It's on YouTube. Go to YouTube, search for Barstool, uh, Deion Sanders, and JSU New Beginning. Guys, I mean, they listen, they even got a million dollar facility. Well, excuse me, a million dollar, uh, a million dollar uh, um, <clears throat> uh, uh, field. They got new turf field put down. Also, another thing, Coach Prime is opening up his 
cachet of uh, of um, resources to JSU. I mean, they get the they get the new field. Now they're helping out the tennis team. They're helping out everybody there at JSU, trying to build it up together so that it can be attractive for everyone to come see what's going on. Guys, you you listen. You got to go check this out. I can talk about this for day. I can talk about this. They have, I can talk about this forever and a day, and I, I'm not gonna hold you up on that. But hey, go check this out. Do you do hey, go to YouTube, do a search for it, uh, bar stools, and go to Deion Sanders at JSU New Beginning. And trust and believe, guys, this here, this, this docu series that he's putting out is a beautiful thing, guys. But hey, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here because I don't want to hold you too long. But until next time, guys, if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, like these videos, comment on these videos, and share these videos. And remember, be the one. And lead.